Finally, a modern interface for mainframe DevOps. Download the Jenkins ZOS DevOps plugin and start your mainframe DevOps journey. Here's how the Jenkins ZOS DevOps plugin works. You will need three tools and your IntelliJ IDEA, the Zoe Explorer IntelliJ plugin, the Jenkins Control IntelliJ plugin, the Jenkins ZOS DevOps plugin. Here's how they work together on an automated Jenkins pipeline with a Git webhook. This will be a classic pipeline that moves through all of the key stages of execution, from building to deploying to reporting on results. To start, you need a pre-installed Jenkins plugin to make a ZOMF REST API request to the mainframe. You can install it manually using the compiled HPI IPI file or by installing it from the Jenkins hub. Next, you need to configure the installed plugin. To do so, you must first create a ZOS connection. This will be used in the pipeline code to perform ZOSMF REST API requests. Give the connection a name, which you will use as the call ID in your code. Add the URL address and port of the mainframe you will connect to through ZOSMF. Finally, add the username and password you will use to connect to the system. Note, you could save as many connections as you'd like and securely store your usernames and passwords through Jenkins credentials. Now we can monitor our pipeline's execution through a JIRA ticket. Here's an example of how to run a JCL job on the mainframe. The Zoe Explorer IntelliJ plugin offers many ways to work with our mainframe. We can use the Jenkins Control IntelliJ plugin to monitor pipelines. We can launch a pipeline that builds and deploys code. We can even launch the pipeline with just one push button. Our pipeline automatically launches and we can monitor its progress in real time, right in the IDE console. We can also monitor execution and pipeline stages results through JIRA tickets. We can run a JCL job directly on the mainframe via the submit job sync method. We must wait for the job to complete and receive its RC, return code, and job output log. Once the build stage completes, we receive object and load modules. We see how a comment was automatically added. Next, we could see the unit tests start. All this time, our pipeline runs under the hood in Jenkins. Here, we receive a set of stage libraries after the job submission. Now we use the Aparfix PTF we built during the apply PTF stage. We run all functional tests and regression tests and test suites. Finally, we submit the accept PDF job with the help of the accept command. We're done. With three tools, you can automatically run every stage in a complex process with a simple one push button. Now it's your turn. Download and use these free open source tools and reach out to us to learn how to modernize your mainframe.